Welcome to the Lake Powell and Glen Canyon Dam update for July 2024. The water level at America's second largest reservoir is 3,586 feet, 4 inches above mean sea level. That's an increase of an incredible 13 feet, 3 inches since our last Lake Powell update. The current water elevation is 96 feet above minimum power pool and 113 feet below the full pool elevation. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. We begin our Lake Powell update with a review of the current water level statistics. Next up, I'll put the Bureau of Reclamation to the test with my bold new predictions. And finally, we discuss some unusual water releases at the Glen Canyon Dam. These releases are an attempt to lower the temperature of the Colorado River. Is it working? You're about to find out. But before we get started, please hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. This is a chart of Lake Powell's water level for the 2024 water year. From the beginning of the water year on October 1st, 2023 until mid-April, the water level at Lake Powell was on a steady decline. This is typical behavior. The water that would normally run into Lake Powell is locked up in the form of snow and ice. And while less water is flowing into the lake, water still needs to be released to generate power and to meet downstream water demands. In mid-April, the water level reversed course and started to increase at a rate of 1.6 inches per day. Then on May 21st, that rate of increase jumped to over 7 inches per day. The water level reached its peak for the year on July 10th with an elevation of 3,587 feet 2 inches. That's the highest water level at Lake Powell since December of 2022. This is a chart of inflows to Lake Powell for the 2024 water year. From the beginning of the water year to mid-April, inflows remained under 20,000 acre feet per day. Then in mid-April, inflows started to increase above 20,000 acre feet per day due to some rainstorms and early snow melt. On May 21st, inflows jumped to over 50,000 acre feet per day and remained at that level until the end of June. Starting in July, inflows have dropped off significantly to around 15,000 acre feet per day. Here is another way to look at inflows. This is a chart of inflows to Lake Powell by month for both the 2023 and 2024 water years. From October to February of this year, inflows to Lake Powell pretty much matched inflows from the 2023 water year. The inflow numbers started to deviate in March, showing just how strong the 2023 winter snowpack was. This is a chart of outflows from Lake Powell through the Glen Canyon Dam. Outflows from the Glen Canyon Dam do not fluctuate like inflows. Outflows are heavily regulated and predetermined by various laws and agreements to meet the demands of downstream users. For the month of June, 626,000 acre feet was released from Lake Powell. In July, 709,000 acre feet of water is scheduled to be released. These dips or troughs represent the lower volume of water that is released on weekends. Dam operators are currently releasing water at a rate of about 23,000 acre feet per day and slightly less during the weekends. So we currently have around 15,000 acre feet of inflows per day and 23,000 acre feet of outflows per day. Now let's do a little test. The Bureau of Reclamation released their most recent water level predictions on July 5th and they predict the water level in Lake Powell will increase by around 4 inches during the month of July to an elevation of 3,585 feet 11 inches. I think they're wrong. I predict the water level will decline in July. I think the water level will be below 3,585 feet. Let's see how this works out. In next month's Lake Powell update, I'll review these statistics to see who's better at these predictions. The Bureau of Reclamation, or time bomb. Okay, the current elevation of 3,586 feet 4 inches is 60 feet below the historical average for this date. Lake Powell's record high water level was set on July 14, 1983 at just over 3,708 feet. The current water level is 66 feet above the record low for Lake Powell that was set last year on, October, on, sorry, on April 13th at 3,519 feet. The last two winter seasons and the resulting snowmelt runoff have offered some relief to the historic low water levels of 2022. 
Unfortunately, the Lake Powell Reservoir is still only 40% of its full pool capacity. Lake Powell's water levels are still extremely low. These low water levels, combined with the high temperatures from the recent heat wave, have contributed to higher water temperatures in Lake Powell and the Colorado River. The river's higher water temperatures have disrupted some of the fish and wildlife in the area. For example, observed daily water temperatures have now been documented as warmer than 60 degrees Fahrenheit in the river below the Glen Canyon Dam. This warmer water allows the smallmouth bass living in the warmer parts of Lake Powell to pass through the Glen Canyon Dam and spawn in the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon area. If left unchecked, the smallmouth bass could continue to expand their population. Unfortunately, smallmouth bass are known to prey on the native species in the Grand Canyon, specifically the humpback chum. These are protected by the Endangered Species Act. So to combat this threat, the Bureau of Reclamation, who operates the Glen Canyon Dam, are releasing cold water from Lake Powell to lower the water temperatures in the Colorado River and hopefully prevent the smallmouth bass from migrating downstream. During normal operations at the Glen Canyon Dam, water is released through the eight penstocks that lead to the hydropower plant to generate electricity. The penstock intakes are located at an elevation of 3,470 feet. To release colder water from Lake Powell, dam operators will mix the water released from the hydro plant with water released from the river outlet works. The river outlet works have intakes at an elevation of 3,370 feet. That's 100 feet lower than the penstock intakes. Releasing cold water from the deeper parts of Lake Powell should lower the temperature of the Colorado River below the Glen Canyon Dam. We'll see if this works in the next few weeks. A popular ferry that significantly reduces travel time between two major Lake Powell destination areas is back up and running. The Charles Hall Ferry makes trips between Halls Crossing in Utah and Bullfrog in Utah within the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. The ferry service stopped operation in July of 2021 due to low water levels. Even though the ramps to the ferry have been extended several times, they just couldn't keep up with the declining water levels. Well today, thanks to the higher water levels, the ferry is back in operation. The ferry will make four round trips every Thursday and Friday over the next few weeks just to make sure everything is running smoothly. The plan is then to extend the service to Sundays and Saturdays uh, throughout the summer and a limited schedule is possible beyond that based on water conditions and customer demand. Hey, that's all I have for this week's video. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.